What's going on everybody? It's Afro Think Tank. Today, I want to make a statement. The statement is, Pan-Africans do not want any of you haters to go to Africa. You guys ain't got to worry about that. You see, a lot of you haters, right? We get this in the comment section. You got your little, you got your little troll, uh, troll FBA, you know, champions on YouTube who spend their time accusing the pan, accusing pan Africans of trying to force people to go to Africa, or trying to shame people to go to a African people to go to Africa. And if you don't go, you da da da. Like, and I'm listening to them. I'm like, do you guys actually pay attention? to anything Pan-Africans say, because I don't think you do. Because if you did, you would know that we've never begged anybody to go to Africa. We've never shamed anybody for not going to Africa. What we do is we give you suggestions that maybe that should be an option. We show you what we are doing in Africa. One of the biggest things I hear people say is, y'all keep talking about it, all I hear is people, YouTube videos, people talking about Africa, but you guys are here, right? Heard this last night, right, on somebody's show, and somebody, FBA hater, was complaining to a Pan-African, talking about how we don't really do, we all we doing is, is talking, 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 and going, well, guess what, bro? Guess what? That's a good thing. Why? Because 10 years ago, we weren't talking. 10 years ago, you couldn't go on social media and find any African Americans in Africa. 10 years ago, you had no visual proof that an African American can go to Africa and thrive. You had no visual proof. Now, you have visual confirmation, visual, visual confirmation that an African American can go to West Africa, East Africa, North Africa, South Africa, Central Africa, and thrive. Whether it's thriving on vacation for fun, thriving in business, thriving socially, now it's being proven, right? So now all the haters who 10 years ago could freely hate because there was no evidence to counter their hate and ignorance because of the lack of knowledge that they had, now they don't have that, they're just looking like idiots. If, if, for instance, I'm in Nigeria, I'm not in Nigeria right now. Obviously, I'm in, you know, Washington, D.C., you know. But I don't know how obvious that is, but, okay, now, you see, I'm in Washington, D.C. Now, it's obvious, right? When I'm in Nigeria, you see me, African-American, light-skinned yellow dude, right? When I get there, I'm accepted. I'm loved. I'm embraced. I'm seen as a brother, as a son. Elders see me as their son. My peers see me as their brother, men and women. No questions. I've proven it. Other Pan-Africans have proven it in every country they've been to in Africa, which dispels the, 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 the rhetoric of, oh, Africans don't like us. It's like I'm hearing some no-name, faceless hater talk about how Africans don't like us while I'm in Africa showing you how much love Africa has for us, despite the ignorant shit that come out of our mouths on the Internet. Despite that, they love us. And embrace us and any type of business we want to do they'll help and facilitate us another thing they like to say oh you guys all you guys want to do is talk about the positive you never want to talk about the negative I'm like ain't you fucking tired of hearing about the negative that's the only shit that we ever heard about Africa is the negative Africa got AIDS and shit like that. Motherfuckers starving, everybody dying. Big old, big starving fat baby kids and shit with flies on their face. That's the only thing we ever saw about Africa. Wars and shit. Dictators and shit. Corruption and shit. That's the only thing. So you telling me finally, finally, you got black people, African Americans, right, going to Africa with their own media sources, bringing back the information to our own people about the positive in Africa, and you dusty ass, house negro, moon pie motherfuckers wanna sit there and hate on that. What kind, of, that is the height of self-hate. The height of self-hate. 
And for the life of me, I don't understand why any African American would have a bad thing to say about Nigeria, especially when your asses ain't ever even been there. Especially y'all the same people keep talking about the white man did this to me. The white man took everything from us. The white man took our religion, he took our culture, took everything. The white man is so evil. Well, guess what? They took Nigeria from you. They took your people from you. Now our people are there. We have access and the power to go back and get the things that was taken from us. Now you know that we African Americans are mainly Nigerians from that region. We know that now, there's no question. So when you African Americans talk shit about a Nigerian, talk shit about a person from Ghana, talk shit about somebody from DRC Congo, talk shit about somebody from Cameroon, talk shit about any Central or West African country. When you say shithole countries and poverty and people, you talking about yourself because you hate yourself because you still want to be the white man. You want to be right next to the white man. You'd rather be persecuted demoralized, demean, belittled by them than to go over there with your brothers and sisters at your homeland and fix that with your brothers and sisters and fix your own house. Straight up. That's what you'd rather do. Dog walking. There's plenty of money in that. Just saying. But, so, and then I hear well, why the Africans want us to come over there and build for them? Have you ever heard? Have you ever actually heard? Has anybody? Tell me in the comment section. Have you ever heard an African ever say, Hey, you African Americans need to and have to and are acquired to or required to come over here and build our shit up for us. You need to do it. Have you ever heard an African say that? So where the fuck did y'all get that rhetoric from? That's what I want to know. Where did that come from? Because I ain't never heard an African say that. What you have heard Africans say, what I've heard Africans say is, hey, you're welcome to come here and build anything you want. We welcome the investment. You get, And, and these are the same people to get mad. Oh, the Chinese taking over this and that. And that. I'm like, the Chinese are not taking over, to be honest. The Chinese are just doing business. Because it's international business is like the norm on this planet, Earth, right? So you do business with people who want to do business with you. If somebody wants to do business and they got some money, a black person going to do business. And these are the same ones that be like, I'm going to make money with the white boy, right? Right? They press to say they make money with the white boy. Not only in America do we make money with the white boy, but we make all the white boys money. We spend all our energy and time and all our, our, our technical ability, making sure the white man, the European American, is as comfortable as humanly possible. We sit here and we build this country, the portion that we built, because we weren't the only ones to build the country. The portion that we built, we did all this work for free. Ain't got shit for it, right? That's what y'all say. But for some reason, y'all don't want to take those same skills, go over there and build your own house. Y'all want to build your house. Y'all want to keep building the white man's mansion instead of building your mansion. That's what y'all. That's the shit that blow my mind. You guys are like straight up institutionalized house niggas. It's what you guys are, haters. And y'all loud haters too. I don't understand. So your talking points, your talking points are 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 more anno annoying than anything. And it's just like it's getting to the point. It's like, what do you guys want? What do you guys want to do? Because we're not asking you to come. We don't want you to come. We don't want none of you to come. We want y'all to stay right here next to Billy Bob. That's what we want. We only people, Africans like myself, Africans who live in America, Africans on the continent, only, they only want people like me. People like Pan African Strike Back. People like Collagenesis. People like Dinus. People like uh, my um, happy companion. That's who they want. People who embrace who they are, know who they are, embrace their family, and willing to put the blood, sweat, and tears, and hard work back home to build an institution instead of spending all that time building up the Europeans' institution. So, that's really all I got to say about that topic. So, for all the haters to be in the comment section asking redundant, ignorant, stupid questions that's easily answerable 
if they actually paid attention to any of our Pan-African videos at all with any sense of comprehension, they wouldn't be, you know, if they did that, they wouldn't have these dumbass questions. But this, this video is for you guys. So for the rest of you guys, don't worry about none of the haters. Don't worry. Let they let the haters stay right where they are, next to the to their to their, their best friend. Let them stay next to them. Let them stay here because the future is Africa. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter how you feel about it. It doesn't matter because in the reality, in the real world, Africa is the future. And when we say Africa is the future, what I mean by that, to be specific, Africa is the future superpower of the world, the future um, financial center of the world, the future military power of the world. The future technological innovation capital of the world it's already to direct is already happening whether you believe it or not whether you still want to believe that africa is still suffering and this and that even though yeah that's suffering happening that's called struggle that's that's what happens in change change is, is a struggle and it's happening now and yes we started we started from here but we're on the way that way and i'm gonna be a part of that and if you want to stay here and be a part of a dying empire go right ahead no problem you loyal to the dying empire that, that built its power off the backs of your ancestors, go right ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to respect my ancestors, I'm going to honor my ancestors, and I'm going to take my ancestors back home, and then they can make a choice to where they want to go. Because our ancestors didn't have a choice. But I'm giving the choice back to my ancestors. Honor my ancestors. That's what I'm, my African ancestors. That's what I'm doing, and that's what all our pan, that's what all Pan-Africans are doing. So if you don't want to be a part of that, Fuck you, right? And nobody cares. That's all I got to say for now, guys. Afro Think Tank, learn some, teach them. I'm out.